Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to Exploring the World of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us back to the Black Morass uh, dungeon in the Caverns of Time. Now, we are not in the dungeon. Well, we are in the dungeon itself, but we're not actually exploring the outside, as I've already done a video on that a long time ago. We are actually behind the portal. Um, back in the Caverns of Time entrance. So the entrance to the uh, to the portal is right over there. I already broke out, but I wanted to give you guys a quick look of what was actually behind the portal in the Black Morris. And uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour around real quick. But pretty neat. I've actually been wanting to get back here for a while. And uh, you can actually see one of the old World of Warcraft like statues in the back here. Um, which is really cool because what's funny is when you come back here, when you're actually at the entrance, you're never supposed to see this far back into the caverns of time, right? They just kind of show you a little bit of glimpse around the corner. And as you can see right over there is the portal, but look at this like original statue that I think if I remember correctly, was supposed to be an original statue to opening of the dark portal, right? which this is really awesome to see up close in person. Now I do have a sneaky bright potion on because it lights up everything better. So you guys can see what's exactly in here. I will run around and then I will turn it off just so you guys can get a better view of what the original might look like before you turn on the sneaky bright potion. So right over here is one of the entrances, right? But if we come back over here, we have a tower still living out here. You got the hourglass in the middle, which is really awesome. And then you can actually go inside of these props and everything. Uh, all these models, you can actually go inside. So we can climb all the way to the top of the tower if we want to. Let's get to the very top. Ooh, it's like going vertical and sideways and it's crazy. Look at this. There we go. Made it to the top. And if we get to the top, we can actually get farther up over here. Oh, and I just failed that. <laughs> That's okay. But as you guys see, come back over here. You actually get the behind the entrance portal. Right here. So there's the entrance portal to the dungeon itself leading out, you know, from over here. So pretty neat stuff. I mean, getting back here is awesome. I've been wanting to get back here for a while. And so I'm glad I actually was able to accomplish, accomplish it. What's funny is if you are able to just barely get the edge of the portal, you actually can't see that uh, statue in the background. So it's pretty neat that they kept that back here. And then if we go over here. Go make our way this way. Unfortunately, we can't mount up because we're technically in, inside uh, being underground. You can see that they did keep a uh, to the entry way of the uh, Caverns of Time over here. So this would be the entrance. And what's funny is if you look at the Caverns of Time coming in, technically we're right here. You have the Calling of Stratham on your left. And then you got the Black Morris over here. And then that straight ahead is actually supposed to be the old Hillsbrad Foothills over there. I believe, right? And then you got the Battle for Mount Hyjal. So they, it's just kind of like a different entrance in a way. You don't have all the original stuff here, like in the retail version. And then let me show you guys this like... Ogremar orc looking hut over here that they keep of the tower. Looks like we're kind of in the barrens over here. They do keep one little random wood post. And then if we go in here, they do keep this all modeled and stuff as well. But yeah, this is kind of neat. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little fun. Coming back here, and then if we make our way over to the very far right side, we can see there are the uh, sunken ships that are just hanging out in the background here. But yeah, a little bit of a different layout for the dungeon itself. Because um, if you come out of the, if we're supposed to be, 
if we're coming out this way um there we go and we got the ships over here but if i remember correctly in the original caverns of time this was all added later right in cataclysm so i don't think all the dragon soul and the hour of twilight and all that was actually there in the original correct it, maybe someone can correct me but but pretty cool guys pretty neat stuff um they do have the fish laying on the ground here randomly by the shipwreck and everything is walkable so you can get on top of this stuff if you haven't been back here i highly recommend you do um i was i forgot to record how i got in here but uh you know i'll let you guys figure that out <laughs> it's pretty easy you just get right in the beginning on the entrance. Um, you know what? I'll show you real quick. Um, I won't actually do the glitch again, but I'll just show you what I did or just point to it real quick. So if you want to get inside of here and explore for yourself. On the, not on this side with the pillar, but you can actually, if you get up here by the pillar on this side, there's a little lip underneath where you can just barely put your guy under or whoever you're playing like on the side here um like right over here underneath the cavern area and then you can you know make yourself big with the seesaw or a sandbox storm griffin and then just fly around to the other side do be careful though it's it's kind of scary because your whole everything kind of like disappears and you're kind of going in blind so do be careful of that but yeah guys that is what is behind the black morris uh portal and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know I'll, some of you might have saw my announcement where I'm actually going to be taking a break for a couple of weeks to enjoy the Christmas season. It is my favorite season and I kind of just want to relax and um, get, get myself prepared for the Shadowlands in 2025. That's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do that. I uh, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas coming up. Uh, Christmas time is the best. I love Christmas so much. And um, I'll definitely be around. I'm thinking about streaming in starting a hardcore wow run so i might host a couple of uh hardcore wow nights coming up maybe every like maybe every tuesday and thursday of every week i'll do like you know we can do a couple hours of streaming and hanging out with you guys and doing hardcore wow and see how far we can get maybe we can get to level 60 because it's a lot harder than people make it out to be <laughs> it is it is quite a challenge to get up there so i've actually never gotten a hardcore wow character up to level 60 so that would be a challenge but anyways guys so that is what's behind here and uh, as always guys my name is nathan i will catch you on the next video take care